Alright, now I want to discuss the birth control pill. When I started um, having sex, I was I put myself on the birth control pill. Now, these are empty. I just want to show you an example of what they look like. But, uh, yeah. So basically, the average birth control pill has about 21 day or 28 day period um, a pack. So you basically, um, you take a hormone once a day. Hormonal pill. It's a combination of uh, estrogen and progesterone and it just prevents a female's ovulation. ovulation. There's multiple ways that it does this. Um, one, it thickens the mucus over the uterus so that uh, over the cervix where it makes, so it makes it difficult for sperm to enter the uh, uterus and um, reach any eggs that she may possibly release. Um, so, and it also prevents the female from ovulating. So, if a female is not ovulating, then the, the, the sperm has nothing to fertilize. There is no egg for him, to, for the sperm to fertilize. And the hormones in the pill can also sometimes affect the lining of the uterus, making it difficult for an egg to attach to the wall. Um, so yeah. Now, I am not a fan of the pill, and I'll explain to you why. And it's not because of what it does. Now, I was on the pill for two years. The only thing I can complain about it is that you may forget. But that's the only thing that I can, that I, and there are other people who claim it made them sick. So if it makes you sick, take it at night. If it, you know what I mean? Like, but take it at the same time during the day. Take your hormonal pill, the pack that they give you, every day. You know, like, take it the same time. Like, you start taking it at 3 p.m., 3 p.m. the next day, 3 p.m. the next day. Like, don't F around and, like, take it, like, this is your body. If you're mature enough to have sex, then you should be mature enough to learn how to take your pill at the right time. You know what I mean? It's simple as that. I was not. I mean, I never, trust me, I never got pregnant or anything. Never, ever, ever. But... There could there could have been a chance that I could have gotten pregnant, so I consider myself d dumb as dumb as hell. Like I'm trying not to cuss, but dumb as hell. Like so, if you are a very forgetful person, a very disorganized person, person that loses things a lot, this is not your best option. You are going to get pregnant. Nothing is a hundred percent proof. I mean, nothing is a hundred percent. You're going to get pregnant. Have you missed it? Like, I hear people, I was on the pill. And I got pregnant. You weren't taking it correctly. You weren't taking it correctly. And then, um, if you're on this, you need to have this. These two need to go together. Should not be just this. I'm just going to take my pill. He can just do whatever he wants. No, you need this too. This is going to prevent um, STDs. Like, you don't know this fool. Like, get his... Get him tested, and you get tested. Make sure you don't have anything, and then make sure you don't cheat on you. I don't care what y'all do. But otherwise, have this on, too. Like, I'm all for, like, women's rights and women becoming empowered. Like, take this with you. Have it in your purse. Have it in your glove department, in your car. Have it in your wallet. Have it everywhere in your goddamn shoe. Have it everywhere so that he doesn't have an excuse that he doesn't have one. Or you say, I don't have one either. Like, have something on you. And take these two, but these are not 100%. And these are not going to protect you from any STDs or STIs. These are only protecting you from pregnancy. And these aren't 100% proof either. I just want to get that out there. <sighs> okay. So, with the 21 day pack, that you'll have a placebo. So, you'll have a, so for mine, I have a bunch of white pills. Or 28. This is a 28 pack. I had no idea. <laughs> So you have a bunch of the actual hormonal pills for 28 days or 21 days, whichever one there is. You take the hormonal pill for that allotted time, and then you get on the um, placebo. The placebo is a different color, and they'll explain it to you. But that will allow you to have your periods for a week. So you'll have your periods. And then you'll get back on the hormonal pills, and it's just a cycle, and just go on and on. Now, 
some people this doesn't work for them. Some people say that they get sick, like I said earlier. So you need to find the right kind of thing for you. So maybe this isn't for you. Okay, so I do I did want to explain this what it does. Again, it thickens the mucus of the uterus. So that uh, the cervix. So that makes it difficult for sperm to get to the uterus. Um, what else does it do? It prevents ovulation, and it also makes the egg. It makes it difficult for the egg to attach to the cervix. So that's what it does. All right. The next one that I wanted to speak about was the Depo-Provera shot. Now, okay, so I was on the birth control pill for two years, and then after that, I went on the Depo-Provera shot. The Depo-Provera shot is a shot that you get every three months in whichever arm there is, and you're good for three for, for three months. Now, I would advise that for anyone because I thought that Depo-Provera shot was awesome. I mean, you just go for your appointment. Now, some people can't even do that. Some people. You forget the birth control pill. Some people can't even go to their three month appointment on time and get pregnant again. Close. I'm like, listen to stories. People, I'll be like, you couldn't even make it. You think you're ready to be a mother and you couldn't even make it to your appointment. But, um, but yeah, the Death of shot, I was on that for two years. Now, I would advise anyone do not stay on any birth control longer than two years. I mean, from what I've read and from what I've heard is that you get like your calcium in your body could like decrease and uh, it's just not good in my opinion to stay on one thing for too long. So I was on a deprivation shop for two years. It was perfectly fine and you hear a lot of girls complain about weight gain and it, I, it's so annoying when I hear that. Like and then when, you grab, when you're older too, you realize everyone's gaining weight. Like I'm lucky to not bragging or anything. I am 130 pounds, 5'2". I was in a Depo Vera shop for two years, didn't gain a pound. Like, it's not the, well, it, I'm sure it does increase your appetite, but that's where self-control comes from. I understand people don't, people are lacking in self-control today, but that's where, um, you know, self-control comes in. So it is reversible. So it's inject it can be injected into your buttocks or your upper arm. I've always uh, I always got it in my arm. Um, it has a high high effectiveness rate. Like like I'll explain to you how the condom doesn't really have the Depo-Provera shot is very 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 effective. Um. Yeah, so it's just great if you have you have a busy schedule. Um, it's not hasty, like it's not something like this, like something ha you're gonna forget. Like it's a great option. The only thing that I can say is that but are you making weight, and if you still don't want, like there are other options. I I did not have a weight problem. Um, that was just me. I don't know if any other people could vouch for that. And I like females. Uh, to me, it seems like everyone's gaining weight. Like, everyone, on the pill or not on the pill, everyone seems like they're gaining weight. I, unfortunately, have not gained any weight. Like, I'm still petite. I'm 5'2", 130 pounds. Well, maybe 130 doesn't sound so cute. But I'm petite. <laughs> Just big breath. But anyway, um, yeah, so maybe that's not the correct option for you. Um, oh, one more thing about the Death of a Bear Saw. The only thing, something that I had was a lack of um, sex drive. Like, I did not have a sex drive. I did not want to have sex. I didn't want to think about sex. I had a lack of sex drive. But, um, when you're young, that's a great, like, that's great. Like, who needs a crazy sex drive at such a young age? Like, nip that in the bud. But it did become difficult when you're in a relationship and you are having sex and it's just, like, you're never in the mood. And you're young. I mean, like, I was, like, when I was on Depravera, I was 20. Yeah, I was 20. So you wanted, I wanted to have sex with my boyfriend, but I didn't want to. And when we did, I was not, you know, feeling it. wasn't in the flow. 
So, yeah, that's the only uh, problem I had with it.